people say, who are you rooting for? If you said it goes down to the wire and, you know, New England wins by one or Philly wins, I, I couldn't care less. And they're like, don't you root? And I go, I root for a great story. I learned long ago you can always tell a great story and you can tell it for a long time. If somebody gets blown out, you don't tell the story very long. Well, the last time you gave out the trophy, uh, it looked like you were giving it to Seattle and then – New England oh. showed up on the podium, and you saw, just when you thought it can't get any better than that, then came last year's comeback and first overtime game. But when you think of being on the sidelines, so I'm I'm behind the goalpost as Seattle sends the play in, mm -hmm. and as I watch this unfold in slow motion, I I think there's a run pass option with Russell Wilson. That's what I think is going to happen, and I see him get ready to throw. And I went, oh, my God, he can't. Th oh, my God, he he just he, they just lost the Super Bowl. So I'm watching this. Then the other time was when the Giants played the Patriots and Eli has the pass to Manningham. Manningham is right in front of me as I'm on the sidelines because I'm getting as soon as the game's over, I'm on the field on the podium. I mean, it happens fast. The other one was. The Cardinals take the lead on the Steelers. I'm on the sidelines with Damn. Steve Young. And all of a sudden, Steve is doing play-by-play -play with Roethlisberger. So I got a Hall of Fame quarterback who's analyzing Roethlisberger, saying it's, it, you don't realize how brilliant this was. You have the touchdown pass. I go to the podium. I don't even know. Like, I'm thinking I got, you know, Bidwell I got to interview yeah. and Kurt Warner and Larry Fitzgerald. And next thing I know, I'm on the podium. I don't know who the MVP is of that Super Bowl with the Steelers and the Cardinals. I'm yelling down to anybody there people are all are, who's the mvp <laughs> and nobody's talking to me i got roethlisberger here who i think he thinks is the mvp oh my and i got the commissioner here joe namath is getting ready to bring the trophy That's and right. i have no idea who the mvp is so i'm yelling anybody who's the mvp <laughs> right. it's antonio home <laughs> thank you because i i wanted it i think ben thought he was going to be the mvp and i Why didn't want it to have? be awkward Why where i go have? um and it should have been Ben. Yeah, I mean, it should have been Ben. <laughs> he was making you know, all those throws. It was an unbelievable catch. That two-minute drill with Ben is underrated how great that was. But the, the chaos that goes on after the game, and then it's over. And then you walk off the field, and I've never felt prouder than the first time I ever did it when I was in Tampa. Because I didn't tell my brothers or sisters. Nobody in my family knew I was handing out the trophy. Damn. And I walked off, and I remember checking my phone. And my brothers and sisters were like, awesome. Awesome. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.